I feel like drag slang has become more and more popular in yes. like the mainstream. Yes. Like I feel like even uh even fucking straight people we're taking we are your the guys ones creating slang. your language. Yeah, you're yes. creating like all the cool shit that we say now. That's always been true. That's that's probably true. What um does that ever bother you? Does it ever bother you that we're does, does it bother me that I can understand your excitement? Like the word slay? Yeah. Uh no. I think that there's not enough um, credibility being given, yeah. um, but that we've been like that since the beginning. We drag queens take things from the ball culture mm. and then heterosexual Madonna takes things from the ball culture mm. and then present it to you. And you're like, oh, wow, they're doing gym tricks. They're, they're gymnastics. It's like, no, we created this whole thing to try to avoid being in the mainstream because yeah. The mainstream wasn't accepting of us. Yeah. And so then the mainstream takes what we found to be cool and then they use it and abuse it until it's dry. Yeah. But I love it up until that point. <laughs> up until it gets dry. Yeah. Up, yeah. Until, up until I hear that dry. same song too many times. With drag slang, drag lingo. Yeah. Um, I had friends of mine send me some drag lingo. They wanted me to say to you. Oh. And you tell me what it means. Oh, God. Okay. Let's go. Again, I'm, I have no idea. Okay. So He's if just I say innocent, something. Innocent cis white man. He knows yeah, If I say something wrong. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, first one they said to me was, "What the, <laughs> the library is open. The library is open. What does that mean? Um, that's borrowed from the ball culture. It is when we're about to um, tell each other some uncomfortable truths in a funny manner. Really? Uh, like reading each other. Oh, like, okay. Have you ever heard reading? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm about to read you. Okay. And that's why the library is open. That makes sense. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Right? That's People cool correct sense. me in the comments if I'm incorrect. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What's Reed the difference between reading and shade? What's the difference? What's the difference between reading and shade? Reading um, would be like, huh. Shade is definitely to attack your feelings. It's the intention, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's the intention. Reading is like you're prompted to. Like it's a friendly, that's your friend. Mm. Or you know them well enough, and like yeah. we can all see it in the room, and we're yeah. all just gonna make fun of it. Yeah. But shade is like that that shit that hurts your feelings. Yeah. When you're saying it not for the entertainment of anybody. Yeah. I think that's shade. Maybe a little bit more mean spirited. Yeah. Whereas reading, so if I w if I was to read you, that would I'm say I'm saying something about you. I, or yeah. I'm just am I just being like I, I can tell you're uncomfortable. I can tell whatever is that what it like I'm reading your body language or I'm uh, reading. There's usually more of like a prompt. Like, Give me a prompt. Read me right now. Your hair looks like ramen noodles, but I'd eat it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. That's good. Okay. okay. That's yeah. good. That's good. So that's, like, that's reading. That doesn't hurt anybody's yeah. feelings. It's yeah. okay. There's that's a mine. there's a joke in there. Yeah. Yeah. Shade is like okay. just like. Shade would be just mean. You don't have to shade mean. me. You can yeah. sh you can no, shade me. Too. We can shade me too. That's no, fine. No, no. Um. Uh, all right. What's a fishy queen? A fishy queen. Okay, so this terminology I do not enjoy using so often. Okay. Uh, because I think the term fishy comes from the idealism of, like, being a real woman, mm. presenting a real woman. And the, you know how, like, they talk about the scent of a woman when she's, like, you're so real that you actually smell like a woman. Like, your pussy smells like a pussy. People say that. They used to. Okay. Uh, some people still do. Um, I do not. Oh, so that's what the so fishy queen is like. Yeah, like you're so real that you smell, whoa, like a fish, like oh, so yeah, pussy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even put that together until now. I prefer to say so pussy, like yeah. But like, I think that all those terminologies can be very harmful because what if that person is, um, for lack of a better term, afab. Yeah. For, like what is afab? Like a female at assigned female at birth mm. performer. Um, yeah. Not everyone. Saying those things can like hurt people's feelings because that shouldn't be a credential of of whether or not you can be doing this. Yes. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so we don't we don't fuck with that one. Not really. No. no. Okay. What is a kiki? A kiki? A kiki is when you like get together and hang out, right? Maybe I don't know. It's K I K I. K I K. Yeah, that's one's like you're just hanging out, you're chilling, you're having a good time. Oh, okay. A kiki. So yeah. So it's we're doing the, a kiki right now. We're doing a kiki right now. Ooh. Uh, things get dangerous when you're doing a kai kai because that's kai when you're kai? that's when you're like hooking up. You're oh. having a good time and you're hooking up. Oh, okay. Those are very closely. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. It can get messy. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, okay. What is an eleganza extravaganza? An eleganza extravaganza is a mouthful of words to say your best. Really. 
Yeah. Okay. What are some other drag slang that I don't know? Uh, you know Slay. I know Slay. Yeah. Everybody knows Slay Everybody now. Knows slay. Yeah. Um, another T. Drag- T. That's you guys tea. too, right? Like the truth. Yeah. The truth. You're like spilling the tea. Yeah. Like you sit down, have some. Yeah. Maybe I'm familiar with tea. the yeah. tea. Yeah. I'm yeah. familiar with the tea. Yeah. Um. Mothering. Yeah. What is what is mothering? Because I hear this one a lot. Mothering is when you just like know that that person is the one like that person is doing it whatever they're supposed to doing that's it that's yeah the, that's the i feel like you've been mothering this podcast right oh now. babes yeah well yes i love talking yeah. <laughs> i think i think you've been, so that's okay so that's mothering yeah what is okay so what is what is a drag mother is that a different thing a drag mother is a different thing because anyone can be mothering if they're good at what they do yeah a drag mom is someone who took the responsibility as to like lend help to your career or to like take responsibility for like partially help put like you help on. you put on like yeah oh, okay. uh that's a part of the reason why i don't usually use a last name because i don't really want to be a direct drag mother i'm a drag auntie mm, i'm a drag okay. auntie i can help you from the sidelines i can you can ask me for advice and i'll message you i'll send you links to things that i think will help you yeah but directly using my name i don't appreciate or love that energy Mm. so that's so if like if i was to have a drag mother yes i would take part of their name you can you know like any anybody who wants to become an artist you can either link yourself to the name or you can be like okay this person's my mentor yeah is that is that something that i would imagine would require the consent of the of the person drag mother i would hope right? so because right? like wouldn't if just, you start posting about like, it what if i just like, tomorrow, i've never met you i was just like oh i'm um, I don't know what the first part of my name would be, but then something melee. Yeah. The queen. I, I just came out. I was like, yo, she mothered me. I'm out here. I've had some interesting experiences being in the drag scene um, and having strangers come up to me. Strangers really? come up to me and be like, will you be my drag mom? Really? Will you be my drag mom? And I've asked some people to be my drag children. Um, unfortunately, those experiences didn't last because we were not friends prior to deciding that that was a good idea yeah and i think that's kind of the key element to a drag mother daughter kind of vibe you have to respect them enough yeah to be friends to spend the time to care for them yeah that's um, a big responsibility right it's, I mean, a, it's put- a whole nother person under your belt yeah that is attached to your career name yeah yeah that can be i mean that's a lot of there's a lot of trust in that yeah you know I mean, that's the same way like if i if you were to do Actually, no, there's really not an equivalent to that in a lot of other arts. It's like saying you're affiliated to a business and they just do whatever and never, like, talk to you about. Yeah. I mean, that's like if I started a boy band. Yeah. And then one of them, like, I'd have to trust everybody that they're not going to do any fuck shit, that they're not going to do it because they represent me as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that that's crazy. I didn't even know that. I didn't know so, that was a thing. I do have lots of drag family, but I draw the line of you are my sister. I am your auntie. We are yeah. that distance apart. I am not directly your mother because... I'm not done with my stuff ever. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for watching there, guy. Click right over here if you want to see that episode in its entirety. Or you can click over here and subscribe to the channel. See all the other fun shit we do here. It's really up to you, guy.